trying out new software and features is fun. But many applications alter various system settings and create multiple files in multiple locations. So what if you don't like your new program? How can you be sure you're getting rid of not just the program, but also the additional data? That's where Uninstaller comes in. With Ashampoo Uninstaller 11, you can completely remove applications, toolbars, browser plugins and Windows apps at the click of a button. No leftover files, no clutter. Here's how. Uninstaller launches with an overview of installed applications, apps and browser plugins. The tiles shown on this overview page are clickable and act as navigation shortcuts to their underlying program sections. Clicking Overview always takes you back to the start page. The tiles at the bottom list the most recently installed applications and also allow for their instant removal. Tiles with blue corners indicate installations logged by Uninstaller. Once you enable automatic installation monitoring on the overview page, future installations will be logged automatically, including all system modifications. This ensures applications are completely removable without leftovers. There's also a dedicated tile for logged installations on the overview page. Here's how you get rid of an installed application. If the application is not listed at the bottom on the overview page, click Applications on the left. The table lists all installed applications along with details like installation date, file size and whether the installation was logged by Uninstaller. It also includes customer supplied ratings to help you quickly spot unnecessary programs. For additional information like program version, file location and website, click the info icon next to the affected application. Use the subcategories on the left to filter through the list of programs. In this example, I'll use the search feature to locate XNView. Once found, I check the entry. You can repeat this process to select additional programs. The number of selected programs along with the total reclaimable disk space is shown next to the Uninstall button. Click Uninstall to initiate the removal process. We've pre-selected in-depth cleaning for you. Click Settings to further customize the uninstall procedure. I want to hide the original uninstall routine, so I select that setting and click OK to confirm. Finally, I click Uninstall to start removing the application. Once removed, I see a summary including the number of deleted objects and the amount of disk space reclaimed. I then click Close to conclude the process. Removing Windows apps or browser extensions is done in the same way, as I will now demonstrate for Microsoft Edge. Now, Let's look at a couple of new features in Uninstaller 11. Many users have asked us to add an option to view installed applications by category, and we are happy to oblige. You can access this new view in the Programs section via the drop-down menu at the top. You can also click the down arrows next to the category labels to expand or collapse individual categories. This is also the perfect place to quickly remove applications through the new Quick Uninstall button. Next, 
let's check out the new Boot Center. Boot Center is your go-to place to learn more about the startup behavior of your PC, including all the little helpers and services that launch automatically with Windows. Use the tabs to learn more about each category. You can also enable or disable individual entries or add your own. Changes you make in this module have a direct impact on your Windows system, so make sure you know what you're doing. That's it for today. I hope you'll make good use of Uninstaller 11 to keep your system free from unused and unnecessary programs, apps and browser extensions. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for automatic updates about new content. Until then, enjoy the program and see you next time.